Hey everybody, welcome to Lisa's World. I'm just doing a little cleaning up in here today. My kitchen is a hot mess. I'm telling y'all, it's a hot mess. I was so tired last night after getting home and I cooked and after I got through cooking and then I ate, I didn't feel like being bothered with no dishes. So now I'm in my kitchen trying to make some sense out of my kitchen, y'all. So I figured, hey, I'll chime y'all on in so y'all can keep me company. Get my Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then I got, y'all know me. What, what's this, y'all? Y'all know my bleach water. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I got to have my Dawn, and my, my Dawn and my bleach water. That's right. So my kitchen right here, y'all, it's a hot mess. I'm telling y'all, it is a hot mess. So, how's everybody doing out there? I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I had, a, and we had, a, I had a pretty good Thanksgiving. Pretty good. Hold on, I'm stepping out the camera. I have to unload my dishwasher, y'all, because y'all know I use my dishwasher as my, um, as my, uh, what am I trying to say, Jesus? I use my dishwasher as my dish rack. Yeah, so I just got to make some room for all these dishes that I'm getting ready to cook. Not, just don't hear me. The dishes I'm getting ready to cook. I'm trying to say the dishes that I'm getting ready to clean. That's what I'm trying to say. Child, I got stuff stacked everywhere up in here. This place is a mess. Y'all know, know how it is when you have a turnaround kitchen. Y'all know. Y'all know how it is. So today, I went to work. I did my little time in at work. I had a good time with my babies today. We worked on a little math. I helped um, another teacher out at where I work at. I'm um, actually a teacher's aide. Oh, and I love it too. You know. I don't miss teaching at all, y'all. I don't. I don't miss it at all. I did my years. I got my years in for teaching. And now... I'm just glad to be helping out somebody else in their in their classroom. So after work today, after work today, I went to the 99 cent store, picked up a few things from there, and um, so yeah, got me a few things from there. I may do a haul afterwards, show you what I picked up. I didn't pick up a lot though. I didn't. Ooh, this water can get hot, y'all. I didn't pick up a lot. So, I know everybody is probably fat and full from Thanksgiving. Um, I did a little bit different. You know, we were, I was between two houses Thanksgiving. Between my mom's house and then my sister-in-law's house. So, I had to cook something for both of the houses. So, I made... Um, I made cabbage, cabbage with mixed vegetables, like a Jamaican cabbage from my sister-in-law's house, and uh, from my mom, she wanted me to make a pan of dressing, so I made dressing for them, and, but for me, y'all, I didn't do that turkey thing for Thanksgiving, for, for, my, for my family, for us, mm -mm. I didn't do the turkey thing, girl, I'm woe out on turkey, Child, I am woe out on turkey, I am. Plus, we had turkey two days in a row at work. Uh uh, I wasn't dealing with, I didn't want to fool around, there, fool around with no turkey. I didn't. So, I made neck bones for um, Thanksgiving. Yep. I made neck bones. What else did I make? I made neck bones. And um, I am just drawing a blank after the neck bones. They were so good. Neck bones. Oh, my son wanted some macaroni and cheese, so I made him some macaroni and cheese. And then I had some um, fresh corn, um, frozen corn. I made that. And I had picked up some yams to make some sweet potatoes, but I never got around to it. So, But I, those yams are still in the refrigerator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and cook them. And then uh, I'm going to cook them and then I'm going to go ahead on and freeze them. You know, we'll eat a little bit of them, and then I'll freeze them until we want us some yams. It'll probably be um, this Sunday's dinner, because this Sunday's going to be first first Sunday. So, and I normally try to always cook on first Sunday 
a big meal on first Sunday. I'll be glad when I get be able to get me a be able to get me another house, then I'll be able to cook like I normally do on first Sunday. Because normally on first Sundays I make big meals, and I invite half the church over here. I do, but um, I haven't done that in a while. I kind of miss that too, you know. But I'm gonna get it back, y'all. I'm gonna get that back. It's just living in a a condo. I don't have that much room here. You know, y'all see my little turnaround kitchen. Uh-huh. Y'all see my little turnaround kitchen. And trust me, when the when the sink get full, if the sink get full of dishes, the whole kitchen is tow up. Yeah. Whole kitchen get tow up. Just from a little dish from a little dishes in the sink. So I was wondering all day what was I gonna cook. Cause you know you get tired of eating the same thing over and over and over and so um I figured I was just gonna make some meatballs with some um I was just gonna put a little some spaghetti sauce over some meatballs and make some mashed potatoes and um, warm up you know, whatever vegetables I have that's in the refrigerator but then when I got to the store and y'all know I'm nosy right I get to the store and was looking in this woman's basket because mm -hmm. I had to go find me a basket so in the midst of me trying to find me a basket I was looking in another lady's basket and she had um, boneless meat chicken in her basket I said I bet that's that boneless leg let me go go in the back and check this out so I did and so they had the boneless leg meat um, on sale Okay, I'm going to let that soak a little bit more. That's my meat chopper. I like to make sure that's nice and clean and disinfected real good because I chop up my ground turkey with that. So um, I went in the back of the supermarket today um, at Food for Less and I um, found it. It must have been on sale too. Let me see. Yeah, the boneless skinless leg meat 99 cent a pound no yeah 99 cents a pound at food for less so instead of having um meatballs and mashed potatoes tonight i'm just gonna uh, wash up this meat so this this is my bag here i bought some more bought some more corn and so what i did i picked up two two meats and i picked up some barbecue sauce so um this pack here was three dollars and ten cents. Uh huh. And then I have another one. And I'm gonna just go go ahead on. And this one was three dollars and thirty one cents. So when I get through making some sense out my kitchen, I'm gonna clean those up real good. And um, I'm gonna put that in the oven and let that cook in the oven. I'm gonna bake those. And then I got some um, barbecue sauce. And I got Kroger bar barbecue sauce. I, I hope I don't have to doctor it up. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, when you buy the, the store brand stuff. Tonight, this, today is Tuesday. This is actually Bible study night. So, I'm going to go to Bible study afterwards. And from there, my husband normally likes to stop and get donuts. He always bring, go stop by the donut shop and get my son some donuts. But I don't think I'm in a donut mood tonight. I'm just going to probably just come on home and just get me a cup of coffee. Because sometimes I can just drink coffee at night and I'm, and I'm good with that. I am good with that. Oh, Lord, it's in like every coffee cup in the house, y'all, is dirty. But I had to do some downsizing on them coffee cups, y'all. Y'all know me with them coffee cups. Y'all know me with the coffee cups. I love coffee cups. You know, so what I did, I, on my coffee station, I had a whole bunch of mugs that were there that we weren't using. And I'm like, you know what? We're not using them. I'm going to move them out of the way. And that's my mama mug right there. That's, 
That's Mama Bear. That's the Mama Mug. Get that nice and clean. Get that ready for the, tonight. So whatever we gonna eat. Whatever you hear me talking about, whatever we gonna eat. I already said what we gonna eat. I'm making some baked some baked chicken. And I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes with that. Y'all, I'm still washing cups. Mm-hmm. Still washing cups. You would think I own a diner as much as many cups as I have. You think I own a diner. You yeah. But that's just me. I just love mugs. And y'all should see me at the 99 cent store. I picked up two more mugs today. I, I I put them back. I did. I said no. Put those back. You got enough mugs, sister girl. You have enough mugs. Put them things back. So I did. I had to be obedient and put them back. I did. Oh Lord, see, look, more mugs, more mugs. That's what's taking me so long to wash the doggone dishes, cause I got all these mugs. It is. And I think I got mugs for every season. I do. Whatever season it is, I got mugs for. And then I put those away, and whatever season coming up next, I put those mugs out. Yeah. I know, y'all. It's crazy. I know. You ain't got to tell me. It's crazy. Like this one here. This is my, this is orange. This was my um, October for um, harvest time. Yeah. But I kept a couple of those out. Because I like um, how big these are. So I only have, I left about two of these out. And the rest of them I boxed up. Put them in my son's room because y'all know I use my son's room as a storage. Uh -huh. It's a storage. Whew, this water can get hot, y'all. So y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all cooking today. Or what you eating. You know? Cooking, eating, everything. Okay, that's my son's mug there. That's his favorite mug. Oh, I got home today, y'all. I had a little dressing in the refrigerator. So, um, I still got a little bit left up in here. I made me some dressing. And, um, I pulled out my pot that had my neck bones in it. Y'all ain't gonna believe it. It was more juice in the pan than neck bones in the pan. Uh-huh. So, but I used that gravy. Don't be playing. I used that gravy. And I put that gravy over on top of my dressing. So that's what I had when I came home today. I was hungry because I know we don't eat in the morning. And I know that's bad. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know. It's bad. You know. And see, I'm a, I'm a bread person. I like, if I eat something in the morning, I want me a piece of bread. You know, I want some bread. You know. And that's not good. That's just, you know, bread ain't always good for you. You know. I like toast. I like bagels and stuff like that in the morning. Because really, I'm not really what you call a breakfast person. You know? I'm just not. I'm not a breakfast person at all. But I know before I leave here, I need to eat something. You know? Lord, oh, this is grease. That's chicken grease. We'll put this back up there. So when I need a little, need a little flavor. It'll be there. So yesterday, um, I cooked. What did I cook yesterday? Yesterday, I cooked uh, turkey fried rice. Yeah, that's what my husband wanted. Some turkey fried rice. So that's what I made him. Well, I swear, this stove looked like the food just threw up on it. It always looks like this. No matter how much I clean this doggone stove, y'all. No matter how much I clean it. No matter how much I clean it. Mm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave that butter out because I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. So tonight's menu, I'm just going to 
gonna bake that chicken. Those boneless leg, that boneless leg meat, I'm gonna bake that. Season that up real good. Add me an onion on it. At the bottom. Or the top, it don't matter. Add me an onion on it. And then, um, put that on in the oven. Ooh, what's in here? Okay, you got to go, because you can't be breaking my baby's mug. You will have a fit. You will have a fit. He like this little ugly mug. Well, it's not ugly. It's just a glass. It ain't ugly. But he like his little mug. My, my husband got the, my husband got the big daddy version of this here. Yeah, he got the big daddy version of it. So I'm trying to make some sense out of my kitchen, y'all, so where I can have me a little counter space to do something around here. Because I'm telling you, when you have a turnaround kitchen, you don't have very much counter space. That's why I had to create a coffee station for my coffee makers and get those get my coffee makers off out of the kitchen. You know. So I got my 12 cup coffee maker and my Keurig by itself instead of it's sitting on a <coughs> it's on a um on a stand, not a stand, but it's on it has it's on its own cabinet. My mom found a really cute cabinet at um, Goodwill and um, well I was with her and uh, we found it and so she bought it for me and then my um, my youngest brother which is older than me I'm the baby but I call him the youngest because he's before me the youngest boy he um, cleaned it up and he stained it and then my, my mother wanted to claim the back okay I'm like if you don't give me my coffee station you know I need this you living in the house I'm not you know, I mean, she was trying to claim it like she needed. She know she don't need all that counter space she got in her kitchen. And she in the house. She in one of them big houses, too. Okay? Yeah. She in a big house. And she know she don't need no, no, other, no more stuff up in her house. No, nothing more is needed for her house. Okay. Put you up on it here. Okay, y'all. I'm, I'm almost there where I can actually make some sense. And um, I can actually get started. I need to turn my oven on. That's what I need to do. Turn my oven on. So that I can get go ahead and put, put my meat on. Then when I leave here, I gotta go pick up my son from my mom's house. Because um, I drop him off at school in the morning. But um, he takes the school bus home. Which is um, which drops him off around the, um, around the corner from my mom's house. So that works out. That way if anything happens to where if I can't pick him up, you know, he can get on the school bus. And do whatever he need to do. Gonna walk over you know, to my mom's house. Whew. Well, that water can get hot. I'm telling you. I've been thinking of some videos of what to cook next to take. So if you guys have any, any suggestions, let me know. I found this. This is I think this is the cutest. Y'all know I'm always thinking outside the box, right? So I found this at I think I found this plate. At the 99 cent store, it says get cooking. And it's not a regular plate, it's actually a saucer. But what I do, I use it for um, a spoon rest. So when I'm cooking, 
That's my spoon rest. Yeah. My son likes eating on them. I only bought a few of those. For, and I'm using them as spoon rest. But I, he likes to eat off of them. As big as he is. I don't know why he's trying to eat off of a, of a saucer. Looking like a big old football player. I'm telling you, you would think I didn't clean the kitchen for a whole week, all this stuff. But that's how it is. When you want to turn around kitchen, child, you get a cup in the sink and the whole kitchen is towed up. I mean, the whole kitchen just get towed up. Okay, I'm making so I'm making a way, y'all, within this kitchen. I'm making a way. I am making a way. Whew. Okay, I got that cleared off. I need to clean this out. These are my little cups I use for my Keurig machine. I found these. Let me show you guys. I found these at the Dollar Tree and I can't find them anymore. They're the little cups. You know, and you fill, you just fill them up with coffee and um, you put the top on it and you put it in your Keurig machine, you know. Because I don't buy them cups that's already made. I don't buy those. First of all, I can't give y'all $12 for eight cups of coffee. I can't do that. I can't. So, this is what I do. I have these and I have a couple more, you know. So that's how I use my Keurig machine. Unless it's something that I really, really, really want, I'll buy the cups for. But other than that, I don't buy them cups. The devil is a lie. Child, that y'all, y'all getting ripped off with them cups. Stop, stop being lazy. You get y'all some of them cups like I got. You can just buy regular coffee. And there it is. There it is. I even got little filters for my coffee. But you, you put those inside the... You drop that down into the little filter and then put it in a Keurig machine. There it is. You got your cup of coffee. Yep. Okay, this is clean. So this goes up under here. Okay, y'all. I can I, look. I can see some counter space now. I sure can. Now what I gotta do now? I gotta wash this chicken and put. Oh, let me turn my oven on. Okay. First, I gotta take all my pots out the oven. Because y'all know I use my oven as a storage for my pots and pans, right? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. I told y'all I'm gonna turn around the kitchen. I'm gonna turn around the kitchen. Come on. And uh, what am I else gonna do? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Leave that right there. Okay. Turn my oven on. Bake. Uh, at 350. Go ahead on and get that turned on. So that's done. Uh, get my pot out that I'm going to use to bake my chicken, my roasting pan, to bake my chicken. Okay. My roasting pan. I'm going to bake my chicken in. Ooh, I got to take off these little press-on nails because they're getting on my nerves, y'all. They are getting on two of them and I have already fallen off, you know. I put them on on Saturday night so I can be so I can be cute for Jesus. Look, look at that. That one has come off. My thumb has come off. Both of these nails have come off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to pop these things off. I am. But you know I gotta look I gotta look cute for Jesus. I do. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, before I that gets started, let me find put that there. Okay, I put my cutting board over my sink that gives me more counter space mm -hmm. y'all 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 ain't going crazy y'all just saw me put the cutting board over my sink for more space uh, you right you did you, you ain't saying things you ain't saying you ain't saying nothing you 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 you, you saw that yeah so let's get this chicken going i'm just gonna rinse and drop rinse and drop I'm going to leave the fat on this chicken because um, that just adds more flavor. I ain't cutting all that off anyway. I'll just let them peel that on off. It, adds me, it gives it more flavor. So this is um, boneless. Okay, now I can pull that off. 
this is boneless leg meat. And uh, y'all, I'm thinking, these things must have been on steroids as big as this meat is. You know? I think we better be careful what we eat. We have got to be careful what we eat. Because when I look, when I think of a leg, I don't think of a leg having this much, this much meat on it. Let me show y'all what this thing looks like. I'm going to have to hold it over my pan. Okay? Look how big that is. Okay? And they said this is a leg. Whose leg? Yeah. Uh-huh. But that's all right. We can already work this. I'm going to keep them the same size and everything. Well, I could cut them up. I got to make sure my boys take this trash out tonight. Because... You know what? I think I may just do just one thing, one one thing, one thing of meat. Well, let me see. Okay, I'll use two more pieces out of this one here, and then the rest I'm gonna put those in the freezer. I'll make some chicken alfredo with those. That's what I do. Or, or some um, chicken quesadillas. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so those other three. Yeah, those other three. I'll just, um, I'll rebag those. Okay, wash my hands. Ooh, Lord, I'm getting soaked everywhere, Jesus. And I'm, I'm going to cut these, this leg meat because, yeah, it's a lot of pieces in here. I'm going to cut this meat. And I'm going to season it and just drop it on in the oven. Yeah, because look, look at this, y'all. Come on. How big is that? Good Lord. This thing is big. This thing look bigger than my neck bone. But I'm going to cut that. Who is, who is this messing with me? Hey, babe, where you at? Now, see, that's my husband. Uh-huh. That's my husband, y'all. I'm at home. That's where I'm at. Whew. And I hope he don't have no car washing stuff to do today. Because he know. I got, we got Bible study tonight. That's probably why he's asking me where am I. Somebody probably called him, and he got a detail bit. He got a de got a detail. Okay. Wash my hands again, because y'all know when you work with chicken, please make sure you wash your hands a lot. Please make sure so you won't cross contaminate anything. You know. I'm gonna see if I can answer him. Let me see if I can answer him without um shutting you guys off. Let's see. Y'all hold on now. Let's see. Maybe he'll stop bothering me. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's see. I know I cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Lord, some of this, some of this chicken in here look like whale. It's just so doggone big. I ain't never seen chicken like this before. Y'all, what are we eating in America? Okay. Yeah, that's plenty of chicken. That's enough for my boys for a couple of days. And there it is. And there it is. Yeah, that's enough. I'm going to leave this fat on it, though. I'm going to leave the fat on it. Okay, rinse my knife off. And get some of a lot of this, this juice of this meat off of here. I'm, oh, oh, Lord, I, I lost a piece of meat, y'all. Man down. Uh-uh, we're going to use you. Come on, juice. Come on. Let me clean you up real good. You, well, you fell into a clean sink anyway, so there it is. 
Yeah, he thought he was down. Trying to get away from Trying to get away. You ain't getting away. Okay. I'm wash my hands again. Y'all, when I'm working with, with chicken, I wash my hands 15 times a day. I do. I do, because you can never be so sure. You, you can't be too careful, you know. Don't, never think you, you're too careful. Always keep your hands clean now. Always. You know, when you're washing, when you're working with chicken, always make sure your hands stay, stay clean, you know, so you won't cross contaminate. Now, here he is again. See, he keep interrupting us, y'all. What he saying? Is DJ being dropped off at your mom's house at five? Who's picking? Oh, see, my son is taking driver's driver's lessons, y'all, and um, at he gets picked up at three o'clock at the school with the driving driving teacher. And now my son, my husband want to know where where he's at. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, here I am, y'all. I'm gonna do this again. Hold on. See? Now let me answer him and tell him I'm recording. I'm trying I'm trying to have a conversation. Okay, let's see y'all. That man right there. But I know he's concerned. He concerned. He want to know where his boy is. That's what he want to do. Okay y'all, so let's get some seasonings out of this cabinet. Y'all know my cabinet. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do some total seasonings. Total seasonings. And I know that seemed like it was a lot. It's not. It's not. Okay. No worries. I'll pick him up. See? Look at Jesus. He gonna pick him up for me. Okay, hold on. My hand is gonna get in the way. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me, let me X him out. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So we got, um, total seasonings. Okay. Um, I'm all, I'm also gonna put on here onion powder. Onion powder, onion, onion, onion powder. Okay. And a uh, raw, uh, you know what? Put a little Italian seasoning on it. You can never go wrong with a little Italian seasoning, y'all. Mm hmm. Because you know I'm a season girl, baby. I will season up some stuff. Y'all know me. Y'all know the ones who've been here long enough. Y'all know. Okay, this is Kroger's Zesty. Zesty blend um, seasoning. It's salt free. So, put that on there. Ooh, this is going to be good, y'all. And um, I'll throw a little red pepper flakes on it. Just to give it a, just a little kick, y'all. Just a little. Just a little kick. Red pepper flakes. Okay. And then, you guys. Hmm. I'm going to get that. Uh, garlic powder. Yep, garlic powder. And when I'm seasoning, I always have to put my seasonings to the side because if not, y'all know me, I'm a double dip. I am a double dipper. Yes, I am. Okay, that's adobo. I don't need that. Don't need that. You know what? Some of the, the, the my seasonings are attacking me, y'all. I'm gonna put a little Creole seasoning on here. A little Creole seasoning. Yeah. And I need, you know what? I'm gonna drop just a little bit. Now don't y'all go crazy. I'm gonna put just a little bit of cayenne on here. Just a little. Just a little. Just, <coughs> just a little cayenne. And watch me start sneezing. Watch them start sneezing, y'all. All these seasons. Now, I'm looking for my black pepper. 
Okay, run. Achoo! Told you. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I gotta go searching. Move my testing spoons out of the way. I gotta go searching. Searching for my black pepper. Okay, where the black pepper? Any black pepper around here? Ground, ground ginger? No, we don't want you. Don't want you. Celery flakes? No. Oh, there's my black pepper. Actually, I really don't need all that pepper I just put on there. But that's all right. <coughs> Oop, there's my stove. Let me know what's... It's at 350. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, Jesus. And then I'm going to put a little smoked paprika on here, too. A little bit of smoked paprika. Mm-hmm. That gives it a little bit more flavor. And then um, parsley flakes. I love me some parsley flakes. I don't even know why. I think I like parsley flakes just for the color. I do. I put it on everything just for the color. Mm-hmm. I like to see color on my stuff. I like to see color. Okay. Cilantro leaves. No, I don't need that. Oh, that's my other black pepper. I got a new one back there. Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run my water. I'm going to take my hands and go through all my meat and get it seasoned back and forth. I'm just going to move it all around. Round and around and around it goes. Round and around. And there it is. All my meat is seasoned. I just have to throw this in the oven. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes without a top on it. Because I want my seasons to stick to my chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now let me wash my hands. Because again, that's chicken, y'all. I just dipped my hand in it. Yeah. I go through soap in my kitchen like crazy. Especially hand soap. You know. When I come in from outside, no matter what I'm doing, when I come in from work, I go straight to the sink and I wash my hands. When I come in from anywhere, I go straight to the sink and I wash my hands. I just, It's just something about you know being outside and I just have to wash my hands when I come in the house I do I just wash my hands all the time and then you know you out you touching your steering wheel you touching the basket at the supermarket and uh, uh, yeah okay so y'all this is going in my oven I'm gonna put that in there for 30 minutes put my timer on put my timer on put that in there for 30 minutes so my seasonings can stick. Okay. Okay, wipe off my board. I got a little bit of seasonings on my board. That's good. That's all right. It's just seasonings. Okay. All right. Now my my boy's gonna have to put this trash away because it has those um. It's gonna have those meat trays in there. And Lord Jesus, one day I had made some chicken. And um, I had put the meat trays in the trash can. Okay, so I forget that I put the trays in the trash can in my round thigh. And um, the next morning, oh Lord, when I got up, I get up because I get up at 4.30 every morning. To make me and my husband coffee so we can have our devotion. I walked into the living room and I just needed somebody to answer one question. Who died or what died in the house? My trash can was humming from those meat trays. So whenever y'all, if y'all thinking your house, your house is stinking because of your dishwasher. Not your dishwasher, your garbage disposal. Uh uh, it would be them nasty meat trays that you put in there. So make sure y'all take them, take your trash out every night. And I totally forgot, you know, because it, it wasn't that much stuff. It wasn't that much stuff in the trash. So I figured, well, we ain't got to take no trash out because it was not that much stuff in there. But me being silly, I forgot I put the meat trays in there. I did. I'm telling you, 
I, I, I started burning my, my oil. I had my air freshener going. I had oil burning. Child, you would have think I, you would have thought I was up in here uh worshiping Buddha with everything I had on incense and everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. You would have thought. You would have thought. So these look these three pieces right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but either make chicken quesadilla or make my my little round head son some um see make my little round head son some chicken alfredo because he loves my little chicken alfredo and i it's so simple y'all it's so simple i use the bertoli uh chicken alfredo sauce mm -hmm. but y'all know i doctor it up with seasons right okay just as long as y'all know that okay so i'm gonna put this in my freezer that's that okay rinse this off and put this in my bleach water Okay, put that in the trash. That goes in the round file. Okay. Now this is my... That's my bag. That's my grocery bag. And, um, put that to the side because I'm going to rinse that off. Okay. Oh, I left my corn out. Okay. So I may have to add some more corn to what I already have. I'm not sure. Because I did make some corn. Um, on Friday. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to peel me some potatoes. And um, you know what? Why did I put that back in there? I know why. I don't know why I did that. But I need to peel me some potatoes. So I can, um, for my mashed potatoes. My boys, they love my mashed potatoes. Yeah. They think they're special. They're just mashed potatoes to me. But of course, y'all you, you, know, I'll be doing what? Adding seasonings. Yeah, I may, I normally, by the time I am get through adding the seasonings, they be garlic mashed potatoes when I'm done. Yeah, garlic. Okay, oh Jesus. Look at all this stuff, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put this back. If y'all can see this counter. it's a, Can y'all see the counter? Y'all see it? It's a mess. It's a mess with all my seasonings. So I can put all this back. Because I've used all this. Yeah. And I have the nerve. I went to Food for Less today. To pick up the little stuff that I did, did pick up. And y'all should have seen me. Okay. Found myself at the seasons. And I'm sitting here like, Lisa, you don't need not nay another season. Get on over. Get on away from these seasons. Get up out of here. Girl, you done lost your mind. But I have to see what's on sale. I have to. I got to see what's on sale. Okay. It's going to be all good. So I'm going to give me some potatoes. Uh, get me another knife. One more other knife. Get me another knife. So I can peel my potatoes. And yeah, I peel my potatoes, y'all. I peel them. I peel my potatoes, yes. I do not use a potato pillar. You know what? I don't want to use that. Let me get my glass bowl because I like to drop my potatoes in, uh, I, in cold water. I like to drop my potatoes in cold water when I'm done peeling them. Yeah. Okay, put some water in the bowl, Lisa. See? See? So today, after work, I went and played in food, in, not food for less, I went and played in the, doc, in the 99 cent store. I went there the other day to see what they had. I saw a couple other things that I wanted to pick up. So that's what I did. Went over there and see what they had. And I definitely needed me a water jug. I need something where I can put water in when I get to work and I need to leave it at work. So I won't have any excuse why I'm not drinking my water during the day, you know. So I found me, I got me a little container. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And boy, y'all, come on. I was at the ninety nine cent store, and it seemed like half the stuff in there cost a dollar ninety nine instead of ninety nine cent. 
You know, be careful. I said, you know what? I'm at the 99 cents though. I'm not giving y'all an extra dollar for this. It says 99 only. That's how much everything in there should be. 99 cents. See, that's what I like about the Dollar Tree. No matter what you pick up, it's a dollar. No matter what it is, it's a, it's only a dollar. So, see, this is much faster for me. You know, just peeling my potato like this here. Than having that potato peeler. But if you're not good with with a, with knives, don't use knives. Just use a potato peeler. Because at least you know you won't get cut with a potato peeler. You can get sliced open with a knife. But I've been doing this for so long, it don't even bother me. Oh, Lord, I'm getting, I'm, I, I think I'm having a hot flash, y'all. Ooh, wee. I know, you know what? I think I turned that heater on when I first came in. I did, because it was cold in here. Hold on, y'all. Let me go. Let me go turn this heater off. That's why I'm hot. I think the heater's on. Ooh, you open up my front door. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to turn off my heater and um, open up my front door so I can get a little bit of that outside air. Cause I got my oven on. That's one thing when my oven is on up in here, y'all. Ooh, mm. my oven is like an inferno. It will heat up the place. And don't let me be boiling something over the stove. Every window in the house get fogged up. You can sit there and write on it like a chalkboard. You can. Yeah. Okay. Let me I bought this whole bag of potatoes at Walmart yesterday for a dollar twenty-seven. You can't beat that with a yardstick. That's one thing I always keep in my house is um, potatoes. That's one of my staples. I keep potatoes in my house all the time. That's a staple. Rice is a staple. Eggs is a staple. Butter. Yeah, I use butter. I don't I don't do nothing that that stuff that's called margarine. All that stuff is is just oil. Don't be playing with me. I don't want that. Yeah, I do not want that. Not at all. So rice, I always keep rice as a staple in my house. Um milk is a staple. Cause my well my son drink milk, but I, I'm using milk for other stuff. Like I'm you be using milk for this mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's enough potatoes for that. Yeah. So when I get through, I just always drop my potatoes in a uh, some ice water. Not ice water, cold water, not ice, just cold water. You know. So now all I got to do is cut those up. Okay, I'm going to put that in this pan here and get this cleaned up. Because my other pan I got, I have um, my other pan. I have corn in that one. I gotta go get me some more pans, y'all. I need pots and pans. I really do. But trying to work with what I have, but and then you can't buy too much stuff because you end up putting half the stuff in the bedroom. Cause I got a turnaround kitchen. Yeah. I know y'all laughing. Y'all stop laughing at my little kitchen. I like my little kitchen, though I do. Okay, put this over here because I gotta go back to it. Let me clean this pot out because I had some rice in here from yesterday. I made some um, turkey fried rice. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, like a little recipe that I that I made, something that I made up. You know, I wanted me some fried rice, but then I didn't have nothing to put in it, so I said, "Hey, I got some ground turkey." So I. 
rounded up my turkey. Well, I didn't grind it, but y'all know. Put my little ground turkey on, put a whole bunch of seasonings and onions and uh, garlic and bell pepper on it and let it cook real good. And then it was done, I removed it. And I had already started, I had already made a pot of rice. And then I removed it. I think you guys seen me make that. It's on one of my videos. It's on one of the videos. It is. Okay. I like this little pot right here. This little pot right here. And I don't even know the name of them, but they're clear. I found this at the Goodwill. And I normally don't buy um, pots and pans and stuff from the Goodwill. It's just me. It's just me. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just me. Okay. Don't leave no nasty comments below, but it's just me. But um, I saw how good of a condition it was in and had the top to it. And so I just brought it home and I sterilized it real good. It's just me. You know, I do shop at the Goodwill. But um, it's just certain things that I like to pick up at the Goodwill. And really, pots and pans is not one of them. It's just not. But I saw it, and it looked like it was in real good condition. And um, I said, I'm going to take that home. And that's just what I did. And this, it was this little pot been my best friend ever since. We've been best friends. Okay, let me cut these up. Let me do another good rinse. Another good rinse, y'all. And then I'm gonna cut these up and just drop them all in there so I can go ahead and get those potatoes started. Okay. I'm so glad y'all keeping me company today. Because I'm normally all well, I'm normally here by myself. You know? Uh oh! Man down. Come on. So you ain't getting away. I'm going to rinse you off. You ain't getting away now. Okay, look, as long as you don't fall to the floor, I'm going to catch you. Yeah, so I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. And I like homemade mashed potatoes. I don't like nothing out of a box. I don't. You know what? Because I guess growing up, my mother didn't cook out of a box. My grandmother didn't cook out of a box. So, everything was, you know, was basically, you know, done over the stove. Fresh vegetables and, you know. And what I mean by fresh vegetables, I mean um, frozen vegetables, you know. And I have to eat, I can't really eat anything out of a can anyway. Because of um, blood pressure issues. So, I try to stay away from cans. Only thing I'll eat um, from a can is um, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, uh, pasta sauce, I'll use that from a can. Other than that, like my, my vegetables, I don't eat, I don't buy canned goods at all. Because the sodium is just so ridiculous in those cans. Yeah, it's just totally ridiculous. And I just, I can't do it. I do not want my pressure going up, you know. Because, um... I've already, um, I've suffered three strokes already, and it's from my body stressing out, and so I don't need it, I don't need it stressed out anymore, no, 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 no more, you know, adding sodium, and uh -uh, I don't need all that, now what I gotta get better on is my water, that's what I gotta get better on is drinking the water, you know, I do. I do. I'm going to confess. I need to get better with drinking the water. That's why I got me a little water container from the 99 cent store that I can keep at the job. Because we got fresh water that come to the job every day. Well, not every day, but we got fresh water. You know? So I have no excuse not to while I'm not drinking water. None. You know? Now, I, I must admit I drink more in the summertime. But that's because it's hot. You know? But, like, now, mm-mm. I have to start drinking a lot more water and taking my little round rump to the gym. Yeah. I think I'm going to make one more. I'm going to cut up one more potato. Yeah, I got to get my little round rump to the gym, y'all. I do. I was going to go there today, but there's some. we have a meeting before Bible study tonight somewhere else. So, and I figured I wanted to go make sure I get home and cook dinner. 
So when the boys get home, dinner will be cooked. I always try to make sure my when my boy by the time my boys get home that the food is cooked. And what I what I mean by my boys, I mean my husband and my son. You know, especially my husband, because my husband he works real hard. He has a um his own detailing uh, business, car detailing business on the side. Plus he um he he commutes to work. He's a warehouse manager for a cosmetic company. You know. And yeah, I'll be buying cosmetic all over the place. And my husband works for a cosmetic company. You know, he does. But hey, I can't be passing up the stuff I see at the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. Don't y'all be laughing. I know y'all laughing. Y'all laughing. And I'm always on you on YouTube with the tutorials on how to put on makeup. I do. I'm trying, y'all. I am so trying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get Lisa back. Okay. All right, y'all. So I just added one more potato on that. Oh, Lord, I'm losing potatoes. Jesus, uh-uh, I can't be losing no potatoes. Okay, y'all, the sink can have those. I ain't reaching in for those. Okay? I'm not reaching in for that. Okay. Two, two men down. Okay, so... Get these on the stove going. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's going to be that. And then, I just need to put my corn on. Open up my corn. But I think I have corn already. I think I got corn already in there. But I think I'm going to add some more to it. This board. It's my little faithful cutting board. It's faithful. I don't cut on it. Always put a cutting board on top of the cutting board. Yeah, because this came with the com with the um. This came with the condo, and I don't know who used it. I mean, I did sterilize it and everything, but I don't use it for me. I just use it to be as a base and then I put my my cutting board on top of it that's just me it's just me y'all it's just me yep it's just me okay so hubby is picking up the sun so that's that's one less thing for me to do I'm gonna have to go clear across town to go get him I'm glad he finally he passed his um his written test so now he's taking um, lessons driving. You know, my husband took him out a couple of times driving. You know, but sometimes it it gets a little hard on my husband because my husband works all day, and then sometimes he has cars in the evening time, and then me, child, uh, -uh I ain't getting in the car with him. Uh, uh. Mm-mm. I'm the last person who be, should be trying to teach somebody how to drive. Because I'll be just as nervous, booty biting the seat and everything else. Yeah. Okay. Well, y'all, I think I'm going to make me a cup of coffee and have myself a seat because I got my chicken in the oven. I got my dishes clean. I just got um, two pot, two little pans in the sink. I got to finish those. Those are done. And I got my potatoes on so to make mashed potatoes. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I really do appreciate you. If you um, have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead on and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get all the notifications, hit the bell. So you'll be notified on whenever I put up a new video. I'm trying to get better at putting up more videos, you guys, because, you know, I started, um, whew, these glasses are getting on my nerve. Um, I started, um, uh, working, back working, and I'm only working a couple of hours a week, but, um, a, not a couple of hours a week. See, my, I got to take my blood pressure pills, because I think my blood pressure might be up, because I'm just all over the place today. But anyway, I, um, I forgot what I was just talking about. Oh, when your schedule changed, then things get pushed back. That's what I mean to say. 
when your schedule changed, things get pushed back. So my schedule has changed. And so now I'm, I, some things have to be pushed back, you know. So uh, I'm going to try my best to put up at least two or three videos up a week uh, for you guys. So go ahead on and hit the subscribe button, you know. Um, like and share, you know. I would like to get more friends because I don't call them subscribers. Really, I need I stop need to stop calling y'all subscribers and just call y'all friends, okay? And again, uh, comment down below if there's something that you would like to see. If you would like to do a um, a shop with me, you know, whenever I go shopping, I can take you guys along with me. Just um, comment down below and let me know. And again, um, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you when I see you. Remember, God loves you. Remember to love on someone and um, always be good to yourself and think think positive thoughts. Because when you think positive thoughts, positive things will happen for you. Have a blessed evening. I love you guys. Bye-bye.